Congratulations. I find this show so fascinating um, and I'm really enjoying watching it. Uh, for you guys, I know you're gonna get this question a lot, but is this based on anyone in particular? I know that there's a reference to Britney Spears or is it a combination of, you know, different pop stars and different experiences? No, it's it's not based on anyone in particular. You know, like I, I said earlier, we definitely were not trying to tell anybody else's story, but definitely, you know, create one of our of our own. And um, there were a lot of different people that I was uh, inspired by for this this role, you know, some that were pop stars and some that were not, you know, and, and I, I, I wanted Jocelyn to feel um, simultaneously, like, you know, a, a, a modern day, you know, pop queen of today, but also, but also like, you know, somebody that kind of existed in her own, uh, in her own world and in her own kind of time. So I drew a lot of inspiration from, uh, you know, actresses like Jeanne Moreau and Jean Tierney and Sharon Stone and, you know, uh, yeah, women like that, that I find really, uh, inspiring. Not the best job in the world. Should be having way more fun. And I just wanna dance with you. And then Troy, for you, I mean, you obviously have experience in the music industry as well, but this is your first time doing TV. Did you draw mm. on really everyone's first time doing a TV show? Did you draw on any experience from from that you've had in the industry? For sure. You know, I definitely think um a lot of this show reflects things that I've seen in real life, you know, the good and the bad. Thankfully nothing like as crazy as this has ever happened in my life but um but yeah you know it's it's one of those things where no matter what we do in this show there is always something crazier happening in real life in LA it's like it's a wild wild place and and um yeah seeing that reflected I think is um it's super interesting to me you know if, if I was not in this show this is something that I would definitely be interested to watch and then Jenny for you I mean you're you're Jocelyn's friend, you're a dancer, but you know, maybe looking for something more in the show. Uh, did you bring any or what experiences, I guess, did you bring from your your time or your experience with show business into the show? Um, I mean, I had to do a lot of dancing in the in the show, which came to me very naturally because it's something that I do. Um, and I don't know, I just want to say, We'll have to watch it in the show to find out. <laughs> a, lot, a lot more to be revealed, for sure. Los Angeles is where all the monsters of the world come together. Trust no one. Just me. Troy, something that you said, and this is a, a, a question for everyone, but what does this show say about the industry? Or what is it trying to say? Or is it trying to say anything? Um, I mean, yeah, I do think it's trying to say something. Hopefully, you hope that something you make is, you know, has has some intention behind it. I mean, I, I uh, you know, I think it's trying to say a lot of things, and I also want to give the the audience the opportunity to um, draw from it what they want to draw from it, because I think that's, you know, a beautiful thing about art in general, whether it's like film or TV or music or paintings or whatever, is that you know you see in art uh, what you want to see in it, you know, uh, you know, and so, uh, but I think that's something that it's, you know talking about is, you know, just the way that we uh, idolize people in the public eye today and the way that we, um, you know, we we almost convince ourselves that we know them and that we know them as if they're our own friends, even if we don't, uh, even if we've never met them. And, you know, we allow ourselves to talk about them in these certain ways, whether it's negative or positive, you know, and we build them up to these kind of godlike uh, statuses and then we kind of relish in taking them down. And, and I, I think that it's, uh, you know, I think that there's a, a big conversation around that in the show and also just the idea that you just never really know what's going on uh, for somebody behind closed doors, you know, no matter how much you see of them, you don't ever really know them. Absolutely. I mean, so well put. And it is a, a vicious cycle that we do when it comes to uh, this industry. Lily Rose, were you nervous about singing at all? And yeah. in it, <laughs> You're so great. You were so great. Um, I, know, I know I read that you talked about, you know, the audition and you did 30 seconds and that was the max. But yeah. you, in the first episode, we see that that song. Um, what helped you get over that hump in singing since 
This is kind of the first time we've seen that. Um, I was, yeah, I was definitely super nervous about it, um, especially, especially, you know, being surrounded by so many talented singers and everything. I was like, why on earth am I <laughs> singing? Um, but uh, to be honest, it was, it was really just like the, I mean, you know, I love a challenge and anything that makes me feel uh, a little nervous and feel like maybe I won't be able to do it. I feel like I try and use it as fuel to be like, I'm gonna just try and do my best. And honestly, just like the, the support of everybody around me, you know, like being in the in the studio with with uh, Abel and Sam and Mike Dean and Ramsey, who's who's incredible, who's also in our show. You know, they they really gave me the uh, confidence to to feel like I could do it, and they really you know believed in me in moments when I didn't necessarily believe in myself. And you know, and my beautiful friends sitting here too, like everybody, uh, you know, just tried to really rally behind me and be like, you got this girl. <laughs> but I ended up really enjoying it. It, it was it was cool because it was something that I was quite nervous about in the beginning. And then by the end of it, I was like having so much fun doing it. And it was a really, it was a really, uh, really cool part of the, you know, creation of the character for me. I didn't even think about the fact that you truly were surrounded by actual pop stars. So yeah. you know, kudos no to you. <laughs> for hold, yeah, no pressure holding your own. That's sex. This is sex. That's sex. That's what we're selling. Well. Last thing, and this is a question for everyone as well. Um, how do you respond to people who might talk about some of the scenes being graphic and, and why are those scenes so necessary to tell this story? I mean, I would say that, um, you know, this is a this is a fictional character and a fictional story and it's taking place in a very particular um, world and, uh, to me, you know, Jocelyn is like a through and through performer and everything that she does is a performance, even outside of work, even when she's alone, you know, she's she's always performing and everything that she does, everything that she wears, you know, uh, is a part of that and is a part of her trying to express, you know, something, whatever it may be in that moment. And, uh, you know, it was important to me that she be, uh, you know, I don't know, I was really excited to, to kind of go there emotionally and everything and I think that uh, I think that the daringness of all of the scenes you know whether it be you know anything was was something that um, I felt just added to the character's uh, rawness and to and to you know also my my desire to just kind of uh, go there and explore explore the character to the to the to the best that I that I could yeah I mean I the, the, you know this show definitely explores some some dark themes and and Amongst those, though, is really human moments. You know, I think like something that struck me seeing the show for the first time um, was like the exploration of loss, for example. You know, um, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but but the show, you know, it explores fame and loss and um, you know, chosen families and friendship and betrayal. Like, there's there's so much here um, and. Yeah, you know, it was it was a really meaty, kind of complicated um, story, and so I think we all just kind of were down to to explore all these different aspects of of um, humanity, really, you know. And also, like a woman looking for uh, agency, totally know, in her own life, personally and professionally. You know, that is, I think, a big kind of theme of the show.